I asked you guys on Insta what you wanted to see more of on this channel. I put up a poll for another one of a World Cup video or another best versus worst video and you guys voted you'd rather see this one over one of those. So last time we did pizza which sparked controversy. Contra Controversial. Controversial. <laughs> no, that is controversial. So today we are doing chocolate. We are going to pit 16 different chocolates up against each other to see which one I rate over all the others. The Tony's wrapper. <laughs> you can tell I like Tony's. That's been one that's been in the fridge for a while and has been destroyed. So my favourite out of these ones is a dairy milk. I do like a milky bar. Hershey's, I have never tried before. Apparently it's an American chocolate. Some people rave about it and some people are like, it's nasty. Love Lindor. Tony's, love Tony's. Yorkie is one of Chris's favourites and we do have regular arguments about it because I don't think it's a very nice chocolate. I have roped Chris into this one as well to be my little helper. So I am going to blindfold myself with this. Is that a short joke? <laughs> no, that's your insecurity oh, kicking in. Not a big helper, am I though? Just a little one. Fucking hell. Bloody hell, could you be more insecure? <laughs> no. <laughs> I've got this clean sock. Um, and I'm going to tie it around my eyes so I can't see anything. Okay. Yep, I can't see anything. You look like you're on one of the cast of Bird Box. <laughs> I feel like I look like a bad two hostage video. <laughs> I did ask you guys on Insta again if you'd rather see 16 different plain milk chocolates. So like I am kind of going to know which one's which as soon as I taste them. If you didn't get to vote on these really fun polls, then go follow me on Instagram because I ask you guys all the questions and then you can vote to see what you want to see. Okay, let me just make sure of the... Oh, two already, okay. Okay. Are we good? Yes, you may taste your first two chocolates. Right, I'm going to go with this one first. <laughs> Don't know why I made right. that so difficult. I'm usually, I know that's a Toffee Crisp, but nothing else tastes like a Toffee Crisp. I'm usually quite a big fan of Toffee Crisp and I really like that. I love my job. <laughs> <laughs> This one is nice, but it doesn't like satisfy the craving for chocolate. This one goes through. See, the last one, I took off my blindfold after each round so that we could discuss what went through. But then by the time we got to the end, I knew what the two last ones were, obviously, because I knew it was gone through. So for this time, I'm going to keep my blindfold on the whole time. I feel like I use my hands a lot more when I'm blindfolded just to really get my point across. Let's go. Round two. Right, I'm going to go with this one first. Oh, okay. <laughs> I <laughs> Chris! <laughs> mm, that's really hard. This one to me just has no taste. Ugh, I don't like the taste of it when I mean, it does get a taste. That is not a nice chocolate. That is really not a nice chocolate. Let me some water. I need to get rid of the taste of this one. <laughs> this one. 100%. This one when it goes in your mouth, it goes all like crumbly. And I hate a crumbly chocolate. This one almost tastes like a white chocolate. So it has no taste and it's crumbly. And then just like, when I just get a taste, no, 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 no. All right, you've said enough, all right. <laughs> I feel like I've offended you. Was that one of your favorite, was that Yorkie? <laughs> was that Yorkie, that one? Oh, Chris, that is such a bad chocolate. Round three, I think this is round three. Yeah. That is an orange chocolate. This is a very crumbly chocolate again. I feel like this one's going out straight away in the next round, but I just am not a fan of an orange chocolate, so this one's going through. If there's no chocolate out there that tastes like that that isn't so broke. It is so weird when you're blindfolded and you're tasting chocolate. It is, it's so weird. Things taste so different. Oh God, my God, what the hell? <laughs> it's no competition. This one has no taste. And it's a very odd texture. Really odd, melty, but also crumbles and no taste. Mm. That is a very nice chocolate for me. I think melt in your mouth. <laughs> that, one's, stress. that one's really good too. It's fine, like, people won't have really strong opinions and really <laughs> overreact to whichever one you pick here. It's fine, there's no pressure. Neither of them are a crumbly chocolate. Very odd aftertaste on this one. That went right through your mouth, it's really nice, but afterwards it's like, it, it's quite moorish because you don't want that aftertaste. This one. This is my winner. The decision is made. This is my winner. I actually agree with you. By the Do way. you? Yeah. 
That tastes so different to any of the other chocolates I've had. Less like sugary. Does that make sense? Yeah. Oh, 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 what is that? What the hell is that? <laughs> that has got a really weird, bitter taste to it. But what the f is this? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have to go with this one. Best out of a bad bunch, I think. Okay, all good. All good? Yep. Okay, we're gonna start with this one. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> Just a bit further. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that has to be a Kit Kat. No. 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 That's no. Oh, I didn't have to try this. You know when you go to like a restaurant and you order like oh, yeah. you order like a chocolate pudding or something and it doesn't really taste like chocolate? That's what that tastes like. Oh, oh. I don't know if it's A nice tasting chocolate, a bit of a weird consistency. Oh, okay. I almost taste like it's got something in it. That does taste nice, but this one tastes like chocolate. That one tastes like almost like icing. Final answer, this one's winning. Okay. Oh, Lord. Okay, we round of eight? Yeah. Okay. Quarter final. I think one of the dairy milks must have got through. I think Lindor got through. And then I can't really remember any, any of the other chocolates. So. This is where it got a little bit complicated whilst I was editing. Despite watching every World Cup since he was born and knowing how the tournament should go, Chris just randomly chose the next chocolates that went up against each other. So rather than the chart looking like this, it now looks like this. First of the course finals. Okay, I'm going for this one. Oh. Okay, I've got something, I feel like that might be Toblerone. You know, it's weird, some chocolate gives you like this burning sensation in the back of my throat. Yeah, I know what you mean. That one does. Oh, this one's melty. Oh, this is really tricky. This one has more taste. If I kick Toblerone out at this stage, my relationship could be over. No, 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 you can't take that into account. Then see you later, Toblerone. I don't know what this one is, but it's just got, um, it's just got a nicer taste in general. No, oh, I get that. a nice chocolate. Weird, but nice. This one. Yeah. This one's the winner. Whew. Yeah, it's quite a nice chocolate. Maybe a little bit bland. Okay, okay, well. I love it when it gets to these rounds because like you've got rid of all the stinky ones mm. and like, these are all the ones that people care about so you're offending people on every single decision. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. Mm, this one. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry Kit Kat. This is the last of the- Oh wow, it's just, this is melted. Yeah, yes, that's good. Christ, okay. Okay, this is really melted. Yeah, sorry about that. It's still a very good chocolate though, even though it's melted. Yeah, I would drink that. This one has a bit of a bizarre taste to it. The raisins. It's fruit and nut, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Still this one. Not gonna lie, there's a certain brand that has been disrespected in this. <laughs> really? Yeah. I'm quite happy about it though, because I'm not a huge fan of this chocolate. That fruit and nut one has, oh, is it dairy milk? <laughs> yeah. Cadbury has just been disrespected. Has it? Yeah. <laughs> you, you knocked out normal chocolate in the first round. Okay, so those are the four semi-finalists. Semi-finalists. Okay, so yeah. I think, I think Lindor's still in, because I'm pretty sure that's what was just up against Dairy Milk. Okay. Because it melts really easily. And then after that, I can't really remember what else was in it. Maybe, oh, maybe Milky Way? Milky Bar. Milky Bar, sorry. Okay, yeah. first, first, first the semis. Final. Yeah, we'll start with this one. It's a nice chocolate. It's like a crunch and then a melt in the mouth. Okay, I don't want to be rude, but I don't know how you got through to the semis. Oh. I'm so happy you've said that because I totally agree. Compared to this one, you just don't compare. You just, you just don't. I don't even need to try them again. I'm, I really don't know how it's got through. It must have been up against some stinkers because it's out, like, straight away. I'm not, I can't. That yeah. was up against Toblerone in the last round. And you put that that in, is shocking. And you put that into Toblerone, exactly. That is really shocking. Start with this one. I'm pretty sure that's the white chocolate, but it just doesn't taste like anything else. The thing is, I'm not really a big white chocolate fan. No, you're not. So like... She's not lying. I'm not lying. That would be a weird Why lie. would I lie? Oh wow, okay. No one else one. Yeah. It's just incredible though. Like, that is such a good... Is that the one I would drink? Yeah. I could honestly pour that in... Like if they, if they did that in a hot chocolate... If they do that in hot chocolate version, definitely this one. 
I'm sure you guys are going to have really strong opinions on this. So let me know in the comments what you think. Please don't shout at me in the street if you see me walking down the street. Here we go. Let's do this. The final of the World Cup of Chocolate. Stop that. Okay. Which one do I start with? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, catch a tear by its toe. If it hollers, let it go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. This one. What did you say? I'm not entirely sure. I just know the rhythm. I don't really know the words. <laughs> Great chocolate, like really nice chocolate. This is the one I could drink. You can tell it's so, so melted. This is going to make buying um, any sort of snack for you in the future so easy for me because I literally know statistics. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I really like this one. Yeah. But I, I, I think because it's so melted. I could try and get a slightly, slightly more solid piece. Yeah, I mean, I think maybe a slightly more solid piece might be better. Okay, let me, let me go. Because the texture, I do prefer the texture of this. This, this, this is very hard to eat. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, that feels, yeah, that feels a bit harder. This one's like a lot richer. I feel like I could eat more of this one. This one. This one is the winner. Okay. This one is winner, winner, chicken dinner. And the winner of the World Cup of Chocolate is... Lindor! <laughs> <laughs> nice, great, what was up again? Galaxy. Yeah. That was my two favourites! Uh -huh, exactly, that's what I was like. That oh, is bro. crazy! Also, when you were like, um, that I could literally put that, like, the way they actually advertise it is literally like liquid. So, you know, you oh, like, of course, they, like, they like pour that. it. Yeah, like literally, I was like, oh, that's such a really that cool. Is, that is really cool. Sorry, guys, but in my opinion, Lindor's the winner.